Future, yes, Hanukkah, we are here. Let's go, live. This is Hanukkah. You are here together with us on a special Erev Hanukkah, energized, on fire episode. I can't believe I get to be here on a weekly level with the website. Also, let's not forget, thank God they've been amazing, putting up every week. Go to breslev.com, check out all three episodes of dedicating time, very important concepts, something that we all need to work on in our generation, the focus, the ability to show love and dedication to what matters, to the people in our life that matter, to the causes that matter. Sharing Amuna Global is our big cause here, getting out the message, thanking Hashem. And this is Hanukkah, is to thank Hashem. That's what Rav Shalom Arish said, the main panemius, the inner level. Of Hanukkah is thanking Hashem. Of course, we wouldn't be able to go to class without learning from Rav Arish's book, A New Light Itself. Thank God we have it here. And reminding you, you guys hear me on Instagram Live, I assume yes. A little bit of story over there. Thank God we're on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and on our podcast platform, Amun is Our Future, Brezov is Israel Podcast. Thank God it's growing platform now. We have the video option for these classes, for now, they'll stay audio. But when we have a special class with Ravosh, which the good news is, and as I wave this here from Ravosh, I have that now on my door in Hebrew as well. You have it in all the languages. Amuna is, what is Hashem always loves me. Everything will always be good. Only get better and better. So what's getting better and better in a revealed sense? Not only do we have Hanukkah coming up, we also, thank God, had a wonderful class from Ravosh for the Toronto community as well as everyone else that tuned in and wonderful meetings for Toronto community and a few others that sneaked in from New York and from the Holy Land. A few people that we already had in mind, thank God, to Mashlim to complete what we didn't do during the Munitor 2022. We've climaxed now the 2022 Munitor with the good news that hopefully with Dine Our God, we'll be doing a weekly Q&A with Rav Arish here in the studio for you guys have been asking, keep asking, keep sending out those requests that you want to have Rav Arish weekly here. Uh, send us your Q&A, your questions, and we'll give you the answers, hopefully, as best we can. If you have answers, send them as well. Interesting to hear what you have to say. But uh, the most important part is the question part, and we'll get them to Rav Dain Elgod, who would translate them to Rav Shalom Arish, and we'll have, please God, after Hanukkah, all being well, davening and praying strong. From Shalom Ben Yemna, they should be healthy and well, as their speech improves, and so do the classes. We better do an awesome class here in the studio. I apologize last week's class that we ended up with two Facebook classes divided up, but thank God it went live fully on YouTube, on Instagram, all our platforms. Yes. Why the filter changes? Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry. It's just how it goes. I like the filters. Always good to keep things in a different vibe, especially on Instagram for you guys. And uh, that's how it goes. So we're doing lots of different platforms, doing lots of different activities. You know, I heard that TikTok might not have a future in some places, but meanwhile, we're even uploading our classes there as well as today. I just uploaded a new episode a new United Souls extract. I haven't yet posted the link below, but it will be there soon, shortly. The United Souls extract 24 for my new book, Please God, One Day to Come Out on the United Souls. Very important concept. Someone asked online, how would you describe in one sentence for Cedars, David Bashaskin? I said... United Souls. I don't even have to write a sentence. That is Hasidah, in my opinion. We just had Yudtek Kislev yesterday, the big Yom Tov of Hasidus. Personally, I made a Siyam on Tanya, Mazel Tov, and I'll be hopefully going ahead, continuing to learn Chitas, very important, Chumash, Tehillim, Tanya. We mentioned this once, learning the Chumash, Rashi, saying Psalms every month, finishing it, and finishing Chumash Rashi every year, and finishing Tanya every year, Tech Kislev, which was yesterday, the Yom Tov of Chasidus. And please God, everyone should realize it's the Oro Shem Mashiach. As we come towards Hanukkah, the light of Mashiach is going to be burning and pouring into the world, especially during this month of Chodesh Kislev. So it's very appropriate that we have a special Yom Tov celebrating Chasidah and all the different songs and albums. I saw Ali saw yesterday in the studio, he was saying he has a concert in uh, in the Binyan Uman and there's been concerts all around. So much celebration, lots of hakel, lots of energy. Tonight is the Chosen Comedy Fest featuring two of the artists I work with, Unity Bookings. Moshi Rubin will be performing his first performance with Julia Marley. That's the son of Bob Marley. I'm very excited to be able to have assisted in that. 
First time we're going to see and hear about that. And hopefully there'll be some great footage as well as his own songs, Moshe Rubin. And then continuing on, my favorite, favorite student of Rav Sholem Arish, uh, my holy brother, Nissan Black. Not that I have favorites, but you know, what can you do? Someone who, thank God, is inspired and changed our life and put out a new song, Victory. And it's a Baruch Hashem, a big hit, hit and a big energy, Hanukkah energy, and uh, something which is giving us that push towards the holy days ahead, the light, the victory, the V, the big V that we all want. Not the peace sign, but it actually means victory. We want that victory in our life. Please, God, to go ahead. I have a whole sheet here of feedback, which I'm going to fly through in a moment, just while we're doing the announcements to realize that tonight there's also Get Out Bass performing in Miami, as well as Matteo and Gad. I actually bumped into yesterday in Mamela. gave me a beautiful hug. And we had the opportunity to connect again um, in New York previously with Rav Sholem Arish. He sang Anna Bukayach, something very worth checking out again. Beautiful version that he did with Rav Arish in the room and all the other Chazak audience. Just to make a point here, we're going to now go into the feedback that we do have a 90-second Amuna class to come with our next guest. Who is that guest? I think we're going to have to wait till after Hanukkah. Just so much going on. Uh, Dr. Epstein just confirmed that we'll have to meet after Hanukkah. All those wonderful people that we are hoping to have will have to wait till after Hanukkah. Mikey Mochton, I actually am going to be going ahead as one of my new Unity Booking artist, DJ and producer. He put together the music for the latest Nissan Black song, which I'm sure you're all appreciating. So take a look for Mikey Mochton, Keaton. And also we have, thank God, Hebro. We're going to talk about him soon. So confirming with him, another great artist will be including our unity bookings as well as the mentalist michael salmon who thank god is going to be start doing some shows hopefully for unity bookings someone who can bring some of that inspiration someone wrote never again yes let's keep positive over here on the uh instagram live always keep a positive feedback and flow that's just how it goes over here as you can see it's about thanking hashem and we're sitting in the studio in new shalim Kodesh, the holiest place in the world thank god right next to the old city next to the holiest of holies unbelievable to just not like miss the point and focus on all this media and news and then you're not tuned into the message that we're going to have today because this is Hanukkah what is Zoe's Hanukkah we're not even there yet it's already like you know a week away Hanukkah a bit less now and as we're counting up to the 25th of Kislev every day leading there especially this Shabbos Chav Gimel it's my son's birthday we're 40 year old I have a mitzvah Baruch Hashem coming up in the Chodesh Tevez and uh, we already put to fill in on yesterday with my holy Rebbe, the Tolna Rebbe. We might put a picture of uh, one or two of the posts for this video, for this class. Beautiful permits for uh, energy, feeling that the idea that we become obligation. Obligation is something to celebrate, not, God forbid, to, to push away. And that's the idea of Hanukkah that we took on Torah Shabbat Peh, just like with Purim as well. We renewed our connection to the oral Torah. That's the real celebration, not the gifts and not the guilt, but it's the celebration of our commitment spiritually to be enlightened and in a true sense, in an in a ultimate sense, in an eternal sense. The energy of the soul of our people and the soul of the Torah and the soul that Hashem is giving us and blowing into us daily, giving us life. We have to live in that way. This is Hanukkah, the Zos, the Panemius, the inner aspects of Hanukkah, the fire, the flackering light that comes out of the flames of Hanukkah. And to remember, just before I forget, I don't want to forget that when you're lighting the Hanukkah next week, please God, beginning already next week, Sunday night, and Erev Hanukkah has a big Kedusha, Chaf Dalid Kislev, the 24 letters, Baruch Shem Kavod, and then we get to the 25th, which is the Shema Yisrael, Hashem Lekhen Shem Achad, Mashiach comes and we have 25 letters even for Baruch Shem as well. The idea of the Yichud Ilah, Yichud Tata, there's unification above, unification below, this concept of unification, united souls, this is, as I said, this is Hasidus, Panimus comes together on Hanukkah, on the Kaf Chay, we light the Hanukkah, and we light with only one candle, we most of all, we keep adding and adding, till we get to this is Hanukkah, Zos Hanukkah, this is why we're already talking about this energy, it's in the world right now, we're already Yom Ravi, we're already on Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday today, the class was not meant to go live yesterday, and you'd take this up on Real Tuesday, we're doing it on wonderful Wednesday, because it's a wonder, that we're already now a few days, Achun and Anana, counting towards Shabbos, Shabbos, Erev Hanukkah, and then going into this whole time period, which is Mila Minasman, Mila Minatev, the idea of it's above time, above nature. This is the essence of who we are. We are people that rise to the top in terms of the shaman. You put it in the water, you put the oil in the water, the blessed oil from Ravarish, you put it in your Hanukkah, you light it, 
But what happens is even if there's water just to pick up the oil, what happens is the oil always rises to the top. And that's the idea that is always myla. We're above this world of physicality. <laughs> someone wrote, God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Any appreciated feedback means a lot. Yes, yeah, someone writing all kinds of stuff on Instagram Live. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, let's let's go. We had the days of Imahot and Avoist. This is the special parshas we've been in. Right now, we're going towards now the Shifte Ka, Yosef Asadik, special light. This is the base Yosef Lahavas. We mentioned the Haftorah last week. The idea of Yosef's light, this flame that comes out from the age of Yaakov. Now we're busy with the stories of Yosef and Yehuda, Mashiach ben Yosef, Mashiach ben David, the light of Mashiach. Yes, this is where we are, these special days. And we're wishing to before Shlema to again to Rav Shalom ben. Yamna and also Ava Baschana, who beautifully put together the Toronto tour, which went live this week. Check out the class from Ravorish, as well as Rebison Hanya Bas Devora, sorry, Bas Brocha Devora, Leia, Rafur Shlema, and all these people who know what their Shlichas is and do it with full focus. And we also still need to get rid of that corona, it still comes up here and there. Please, God, everyone should be saved from that for Shlema. And <clears throat> please, God, we should um, remember. Gedalia fenced his wonderful son, Yerachim Dunab Gedalia. And I didn't want to forget, in his merit, the importance of pouring out your heart when you light the menorah. Don't miss that time, that eight percent as you light the menorah, to pour out your heart, to let out all the different feelers and praise of thanking Hashem and needing Hashem and wanting Yeshua's and salvations for your life. To put energy into the lighting, not just putting the flame and making it lit, but also the psalms, the prayers, the singing, to really allow your soul to talk to God and to, to request everything you need. This is, Someone wrote a uh, feedback, we're going to get to it here. Forest Field is the most important book on Spotted us. It's one of Rav Shalom Morish's books, not this new light, but Forest Field talks exclusively about Spotted us, talking to Hashem in personal prayer. Hanukkah, there's a special eight that's on during the time of lighting to pour out your heart. So thank you for uh, our friend in New Jersey who brought that up. We also Thank God I had some requests to possibly host the Rav in the summer in Deal, New Jersey. So we have uh, New Jersey, Teaneck, New Jersey, reaching out, and Deal, New Jersey. So you never know if maybe we can make a special trip in the summer to those areas if there's a big enough request. Uh, people in Toronto wanted us to come in person, but once again, it needs a big request. People in the uh, Spanish-speaking countries have reached out recently, an event organizer. Once again, that will have to be a serious request. So these are the kind of stars and energies we're trying to bring global. Muna Ravorish, global. We have Jonathan Galen, if he's able to come, we'd love to bring him for the Spanish community. It'd be amazing, amazing opportunities ahead. Keep praying and davening. Hanukkah's a time, all the acid, to see into the future what's coming down in this following year, as we're already now in Tough Shin Pei Gimel, this special year. Let's go into more of the feedback. We want to thank again for the Toronto class that was this Sunday night and all the meetings. Amazing. Someone wrote, Hashem, help us have absolute amuna. Tadara ba kavada rav, you are so right. Hashem doesn't owe us anything. Yes, that's what we had, the OS Hashem video. And also, may Hashem bless you and all your loved ones. Amen va amen. We had a lot of beautiful videos from Rav Oresh about uh, leaving the rat race. Yeah, we have to really understand the importance of Shabbos and disconnect to reconnect. We spoke about that in the previous three weeks of dedicating time. And Hanukkah is definitely a time to dedicate. Someone like your comment. Exciting Amuna, Amuna music. Perfect victory. Yes, we mentioned uh, a student of Rav Oresh, the man of miracles, Nissen Black. Someone else wrote nice music. Yes, because with something we get inspired of Nissen Black. It's already on our website, Brezov.com. We put the video there as well. Baruch Hashem, so very grateful. First, of course, Baruch Hashem, to all my teachers. Thank you. That's in reference to all the Rav classes. Meshem, bless the Rabbi. Shalom Oresh. Happy Hanukkah, Rabbi, and all. Beautiful, inspiring, and powerful. Thank you, Rabbi. Shalom Oresh. Rav Oresh, Rab Rabbi, greetings from Sydney, Australia. People from Brazil will be reaching out. Um, also, Someone wrote, wonderful class, love all the teachings, thank you, Rev. Diane Angred. You translate so perfectly, it's true. We don't take it for granted. Diane Angred is a big gift for us, and he comes and translates. He's a Diane, he's a poster, he's busy, he's on, on the courts, he, he's part of the Dabur, he's part of many organizations, as well as the head of the Kolalim in Chut Chesed, of Orish's Institutes, which we give a big thanks to. And he comes special for you guys, so you can get the best English translation of Orish that we can offer right now. And we really appreciate his time and attendance, and we hope once again that he'll be joining us. Um, after Hanukkah. So thank you for writing that. Um, on the, I think that was on the Toronto video. 
Uh, another feedback, um, the, the B'nai Noach of the nations love the teaching of Shalom Moresh. I think we mentioned this before. And dear Rabbi Eli, may Hashem bless you. Uh, Torah Anytime posted our Staten Island class and Five Towns class, the Chazak tour that we did in Munatur 2022. So you can check it out in Torah Anytime now. Rabbi Shalom Moresh's updated classes. I think there's three now from the tour and a new one in Hebrew without translation. But the others all have Rabbi Dainaga translating. Baruch Hashem. Someone else wrote, thank you, Rabbi, of all this anti-Semitism. I was losing my Muna. I feel bad. Hashem is amazing. Thank you so much. Eddie Goldsmith's classes are awesome, beautiful, etc., etc. Okay, so we've got lots of wonderful feedback. And uh, we're just there are some questions. But I think we're going to keep storing the questions now for Rav Shona Morish. So please start sending them in. And hopefully after Hanukkah, we'll get a class where we can go through those questions. So if you want to contact me, you Email ellie.goldsum at breslev.co.al and we'll get those questions to Rav Shalom Arsh and you'll hear them go live in the coming weeks after Hanukkah. Now, what could we can learn that will give us that Amuna Shlema that Nissan Black was talking about with Dr. Eliezer Gutterman on a recent post that they just went up from on his platforms. Appreciate once again his partnership and all of you guys who partner MunaLive.com. You can partner right now. Go to MunaLive.com. I think the link's live on the videos. You can go there and uh, on our bio and, and all the different platforms and join AmunaLive.com and show your commitment to Rav Shalom Arash and sharing Amuna Global so we can keep these classes growing on a larger scale and keep the up-to-date energy and guests and opportunities of going global. As we learn in the Gemara Bhav, the difference between the prayers of those who were answered and those who were not answered, those who were answered, they had faith that Hashem would save them. The same applies to the work of the will, which is what we're, this whole book, we're now on page 205. We jump back, back to the middle where we were before. A New Light, or Chodosh. This is a beautiful book. Get it on breslev.com. Very important book, very much needed for our generation, and we're carrying on on page 205, chapter 6. The first of discussion must be our obligation to possess the clear and absolute faith, Munishlema, that Hashem wants us to, to rescue us and save us spiritually, even more than physically. Believe, have a Muna that Hashem wants to save you spiritually even more than you yourself want to be saved. Because the more the calf wants to suckle, the cow wants to nurse. It's a Gemara Yeah, That's a very beautiful idea. There's so much will to be given to and all we have to do is make that vessel. Hanukkah, that's a big time. All those candles were lighting, 36 candles, 44 if you add the uh, shamesh. They're all vessels for us. Our own blood gets elevated, the dam of the 44. The, everything gets elevated, our whole home. We become a Kohen Godel, as Roshon Katz has been talking about in his shirat, David Shirim. Thank God, the idea, we become a Kohen Godel in our own home. Everyone becomes the high priest and lights up their home in the menorah, just like we do every Shabbos. We bring the Menuchas of Shabbos into home, Menuchas Abba, Menuchas Amis. Yeah, this is the idea, the energy of Shabbos, lighting together with the menorah, bringing that Shalom Bayas Adif, that energy of peace in the home and light and awe, but that's the vessel. The Shalom is the vessel. Our relationships have been speaking the last few weeks. The relationship flow, that's what we're talking about, United Souls aspect. The key is to the vessel that we need to build is our Shalom Bayas and our peace in the home, our love towards each other as the unity focus, the unity projects, unity inspires projects, United Souls, all these concept themes we're bringing together with Rev Shalom Arish and in our studio and all the different platforms and all the different artists and speakers and creators that we're working with. The idea is bringing that unity flow, that builds the vessel, especially in our home. So um, on that note, my wife just reached out. So we're going to have to keep moving on this class because I did say I'd be finished by now, but we start a little bit late, so I apologize. So here we go. Let's go in more into the teachings and then we'll round off the class. We must know and review repeatedly the concept that Hashem wants every Jew without exception, and that means everybody as well, universally, to succeed spiritually and not to stumble and commit any sin or slightest trace of sin, to attain complete faith. Amuna, and faith is a loose translation. Amuna is Shlema. Amuna. Amuna is intrinsic, deep knowledge of Hashem to attain good and upright traits, to attain the complete fear of God, the awesomeness of God, the awareness of God, 
Yeah, this this expanded consciousness is what we're heading towards with Mashiach ben Yosef, Mashiach David, Yosef in the Pasha, running away from all the tithers of this world and Mitzrayim and Egypt and, and laying the foundations for us to be able to go into exile in a successful way and still be Ame Kulam Sadiqim, a nation of complete Sadiqim. That's the idea, the light of Hanukkah brings out that everyone is a Sadiq. Everyone's connected to this, the Lamed Vav Sadiqim, the Oro Shal Mashiach, the light of Mashiach. And that's Mashiach ben Yosef who prepares away the key, say, David, he's preparing for Mashiach ben David in this week's Pasha, hinted to by Yehuda and Yehuda, the whole story of Yehuda and his sons and eventually the, the conception of Mashiach comes in the darkest places, comes in the struggle, comes in the pain, comes when things aren't working out. This is the Orish of Mashiach, the will, the rots and the fire that exists within all of us. This is us to attain these good and upright chases, what Hashem wants more than anything, to attain the complete awareness of God, this expanded consciousness, to understand that even in those darker moments in this week's Pasha is already sp- is spreading the seed, bringing the seed, building the, the depths, in the depths of darkness, depths of pain, is building the light of Mashiach, the light of the purpose of creation. The eternal flame is coming forth from the darkest places. Yeah, this is the reality of, of everything we go through as a people, uh, as a soul. We're meant to descend into the lowest places, to elevate those places. A menorah goes down into the tenth fochim, into the lowest part of the creation, and elevates on the left side of the door, the left, the small, the the places where the the forces and usually of negativity and control comes the menorah and lights up those places. Here we go. And separate from all crazy masters of the world to learn the Torah and acquire knowledge of the Torah in depth and in breadth and to reach the levels of Moshe. And why does Hashem want to contribute to us to help us and give us, save us the spirit of us? Because Hashem creates us only for this, to attain all the Ruchinus levels. Therefore, know when you pray, you are not coming to persuade Hashem, rather to know that Hashem wants to give you more than you want to receive. And the tent of all your work is solely to build vessels in order to receive. And this is the foundation of all the work of the will. And know that a lack of faith that Hashem wants to give us, a lack of Amuna, is is he wants to help f- complete our faith, and when there is a lack of amuna, prayer is not effective. So really, the whole problem is that when we're not praying fully with amuna, with amuna shlema, that's where the issue comes. So we have to go into Hanukkah with amuna shlema, with a strengthening of complete faith that our prayers work. That we're standing in front of the menorah, lighting. It's an eight on a time of will. We're lighting up the world. We're bringing that energy of Mashiach, of of salvation, of positivity of the soul of truth and values that answer up all the problems that society is going through now, which you have to realize and always have gone through. This is the answer to all the questions a person has on the deepest level. The Shem wants more than us to have that complete amunah so that he can hear our prayers, so he can have that intimate relationship with us. He could bring that light of intimacy into our home between us and Hashem, our creator. So we experience it with our wife, with our children, with everything we're doing. Like when I saw my son putting on tefillin this week with my Rebbe and the, my wife was crying and the connection, the moment, the, the light, the, the awe, the inspiration, the, the depth of soul of doing a mitzvah together with the family and with a Sadiq. And this is what we could do every time we light the menorah. We're coming towards the Siddiquim. We're coming towards the Lamed Vav Masechtas of Shas. Every time we learn the Daf Yomi. Every time. This is, this is the power that's being coming released every time we light. And the more we believe in it, the more we complete that Amunah. So that it should be a, a beautiful Amunah. Amunah that we believe in and get simple and joy. Amunah joy. It gives us chiyas and energy. It brings energy to everything we do. The music, the art, the food we create, the, the relationships, the times we're with family. It brings energy into everything. And it energizes us so that we're no longer down. People are walking around broken. We have to heal our broken hearts with the prayers of Hanukkah, the prayers that we're entering now. Halal Vahoda. We're going to have beautiful eight days of praying and thanking Hashem for Allah Nisim, for all the miracles and using this opportunity of time to say hello and to get ready for Rosh Chodesh and Shabbos and all the big energies that come down during the next weeks. It's amazing time. Don't miss out. Learn this book, A New Light. We'll just finish off one more paragraph from the from Rav Shalom Morris Shlita. It should be well. Not only is a lack of a munab, it generates a lack of respect for Hashem. All of the craves, all the matters of this world are one large waste bin containing foolishness and vanity. Do you think that Hashem wants his children to live in a waste bin, to live like a crazy person, heaven forbid? This is an insult to Hashem. Even the most wicked 
person in the world must believe that Hashem wants to have compassion him, to help him to do complete tshuva and to be on the level of Moshe Rabbeinu. Everyone can reach the highest levels of Moshe Rabbeinu. Therefore, let us review. You learn a person's prayers except in accordance with his amunah, the essence of his weakness in a person's prayers due to weakness in his amunah, his lack of certainty that Hashem wants to save him. Therefore, even if such prayers serve Hashem firmly, vigorously, all his work, the will of still not perfect prayer, is still weak prayer compared to what it should be. So when a person's faith, amunah, Hashem wants to save is absolute, his prayer is absolute. As a result, he can then cry out to Hashem, bring me close to serve you. This is what we need to do now. Call out to Hashem. This is Hanukkah. I've got two books here, one to give away. Remember, if you reach out, send your address and your phone number. We need both so we can ship it out to whoever wants a book and is doing what we're doing. That one right now, we have someone in Australia who's going to get a free book of The New Light. We have another copy here for another person who is living up to the campaign of serving Hashem and bringing Amuna Global. Share how you're doing it. Share how you're liking and commenting and giving over your own Amuna flow on your platforms, please God. And that will help bring us all closer to the ultimate Gula, the Amuna Shlema, the Gula Shlema, Rafua Shlema, all the light that comes from Hanukkah, this wonderful, complete energy, this Hanukkah, when we get to that climax and we get to the 36th candle and light up all of the Hanukkah light are lit and we burn all those wicks on Zos Hanukkah and all the light comes complete. That climax, this is Hanukkah, brings us to that complete amuna that gives us the power to live with energy and we have to bring that into our daily life, bring that into our, our momentary life and everything we're doing, our business, our family, our friends, our work and all the different things we're doing in our personal and our hobbies, in our personal time in our room when we're on our phones late at night bring the light of Hanukkah to whatever we're doing and bring it to an energy that inspires the world to a good place of Hanukkah of Chinuch of Or of Or Mashiach of the Mashiach Sakeinu that we're all praying for for the Gula Shlema Behavior Menu Amen thank you for joining us keep sharing these classes I'm sorry we had to cut short but I do have what to do thank God in my life thank God and I thank Hashem again that you are here sharing these wonderful classes together keep sharing them and give us your feedback send us your questions for our voyage to answer and we can't wait to bring a new light as we enter the days of Hanukkah this is Hanukkah. It's a Muna Shlema. Amen.